right. Huh. What, if what if? What if? We. You know how we we re uh, live reported the basketball game? Oh yeah, yeah. What if? What like a we yeah, live we reported reported championship? We you know what Aaron Andrew? did? Aaron did, did esports. Do that. Can I? He did. He did. Do Aaron that. did do esports. Would you be interested in doing esports? Because we could just do us three. I could yeah, do. I'm like when it comes to games. Because I'm not. I'm not like big a, with competitive. Like I'm a no but dude, I know games. And how are you folks doing over there? Caught us in a mid conversation. And as you can tell, uh, setup looks a bit strange today because yeah, your hair's different. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, it's rain. very different. We love but rain. Yep. Let's make it official. Yep. Welcome to Hanging in Bear Country. Today, I'm your host, Isaiah Landry. With me always is. Ian Fernandez. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Ah, so, so when you get mad, host, I knew you get mad. Hosting, I knew you would get he, mad. You're gonna do it properly, but when I'm hosting, it's hey, it's John Cena. I'm like, really, bro? You can't see. Listen, me? listen. If he was John Cena, oh, God, he wouldn't be here. With this guy, is on site with him next time. I oh, I saw, I saw him right now. <laughs> Anyways, this is Ian. Minnesota. Oh, I'm Brian. I'm Brian Martinez. In case you guys didn't know, I'm uh, Matthew Salcedo. And welcome. <laughs> well, well, we need more context. Well, because... really warm welcome. My name is yeah. Matthew Salcedo. I'm uh, I'm a guest here for today. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, welcome, Matthew. What Thank class you. do you? What, what, what class are you normally in? Where do you hail from? Currently, mm. right now, I should be in my animation class studying. Oh, okay. That's nah. cool. That's cool. But uh, my teacher was like, ah, oh, nah, no, no, and then tossed me out. Like, <laughs> threw you out. Like, a you by the collar in the rain. Just you out. I'm joking. I'm joking. Wow. My teacher's really nice. Her that, name is Miss Pablo. Is, really nice teacher, insane. actually. Oh, hello. Uh, um, also, Madeline Hi. is trying to promote herself. She's selling uh, girls Girl cookies. cookies, everyone. So if you so want them, Madeline down to broadcasting. Donna, six bucks for a box. Pack. How many? A box. A box. Six dollars a box. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Also, ASP is currently doing their Valentine's thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, their, their Valentine's grams. grams. Yeah. So, if you're looking to buy Valentine's gram, come talk to me because Wadron was like, we need everyone to get at least 10. So, <laughs> <laughs> why do you um, give him that voice? <laughs> so, you know, let me know. I can get you Valentine's gram. It's six bucks for so six bucks for a box of roses. Box roses. Uh, chocolate covered strawberries. Uh, I think roses. And. A bunch of other things. So yeah, let me know. For six dollars. Wow. Got to hit pretty that decent. deadline by this Friday. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's complicated. Very wow. complicated uh, right. system. And they still got to go all the way to LA to get the flowers. Wow. They do that oh. like three in the morning. Uh, dang. That's yeah. crazy. Three in the morning. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Imagine going in um, this weather. But though. anyway, <laughs> the real anyway. reason why we're here today. <laughs> Talk about video games. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason I'm host. Yeah. I beat Brian. He he's a filthy ice climber main. So like all he did was just wobble me the entire time, bro. It, 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 it he's lucky. Time. He's lucky I didn't play Ness. I was, was just time. gonna PK fire. It was a rough time, bro. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's the most nerdy that we're yeah, gonna I'm get on this podcast like, for a while. I'm not now. a Smash Bros player. I I I struggle with fighting games. Uh, like Mortal Kombat. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. I can. I I it's played Mortal Kombat One. The Gears. If you know, you know. I don't know. I have no the idea what that is. I'm not even gonna. The Gears combo is crazy. Yeah. Gonna There's also one. speaking of Mortal Kombat One, Omni Man, and uh, oh, that's oh really I heard they're being added to Peacemaker. Too. Too. Peacemaker. Yeah. Omni Man Homelander. is already here. Uh, Peacemaker, I believe, is either already here or coming out soon, and then the final Homelander. one, Homelander. Homelander. And that's Homelander. the one I'm really that's excited about. That one's gonna be when, sick. When, uh, when, when Homelander comes out, I might spend money on the game. But like, I I might believe, 60 bucks. Online online Dude, it's just for 60 bucks, and that's, that's not even including the DLC. 60 yeah. Bucks. Yeah. No, bro, okay. Actually, if we start off right now, there are some games that are like being pumped out for like the newest systems that, that like, base price alone, $70. I, okay. I'm just so gonna say I'll, it now. Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League. I was literally gonna talk about that. So my, I went over to a friend's house and he was like, "Hey, I just bought this game." I'm like, "Which one?" It was Suicide Kill the Good, Kill the Justice League. I'm like, "Oh, you poor soul. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Not what you're in for." Wasn't it like sixty bucks? We know it was seventy out the wazoo. Seventy. Oh. Seventy bucks out, out the wazoo. Man, I, at least 60. for at least for at least for like the uh, the updated generation, like for like Xbox One, XPS Five, right. like seventy bucks out the wazoo, which to me is just like. I already bought this half a thousand <laughs> dollar console. Yep. Okay. Yep. If I want multiplayer, I already spent another like probably sixty or seventy dollars on another controller. 
I'm gonna pay seventy dollars for another like bro. Like that's why that's why I yeah, feel like no. honestly speaking, when people are like buying third party games on the Switch, it's not that bad because sometimes they're, they're as cheap as twenty bucks. It ain't easy. Yeah, no. Yeah. Like granted, like the graphics are ten times worse Which on the Switch, why. obviously, and it works worse on the Switch. <laughs> but at least you can play it and not yeah. have to mortgage your soul just to get the game. <laughs> like, oh my Which god! Dude. And I, but worse, <laughs> like, Suicide Squad is a terrible game. Like it's. it's it, like, I'm, I'm just saying it now, dude. From the, plot, the way, all the way, the way they brought the way out, it's from the plot all the way to its game mechanics. It's just bad. It's it like, was simple as that. It was a disrespect to Kevin Conroy. Oh honestly. my god! Oh. Wow. I, I know that that's not the last time we're gonna hear him as Batman because he's he has a part in uh, Saving Infinite Earths. Uh, Part is three. that is that like three. he already had part his three. lines there's recorded? A, there's a third one coming. There's, there's, there's a third one coming. You're joking. I'm not even joking. No there's way. A third one coming. Yeah. So he he has a cameo in that. But this is like like a better term. Second to last like voicing of Batman, and he the most disgraceful. Spoilers for the game. Honestly, don't buy it. Okay. I, I'm, yeah, I'm doing all the favors. It, it's horrible. Okay. Batman dies in that game, getting shot in the head by Harley Quinn on a bench. Womp womp. It is <laughs> Arkham City <laughs> Batman 2. Yeah, it is Arkham City Batman 2. Like, huh? That, I saw a video, I saw a video where That's... they said it would have been better if it was Arkham with Batman Beyond. So they had a reason to like kind of push Batman away and bring in like I a mean, new like, Batman. I guess the way, no, but the, the, the simplest fix for the story is that you literally switch Wonder Woman's role with Batman. Make the Justice League have to go out and find Batman for his contingency rules to, to take down the Justice League. Okay, because that makes way more sense. Like it makes way more sense that Brainiac would prioritize the more meta human beings like Superman, Green Lantern, Flash, and Wonder Woman. Like yeah. with all due respect, I love Batman. Like don't get me wrong, but like he's powerless. Like well, no, his his who is, 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 is only listen. a super fighter or a guy who's rich. He like, is wrong. Like, no, no, listen, listen, that, that's listen, underlying Batman right and there. He's the not even. He doesn't have a superpower. Oh, his God. superpower he's is just money. money. The trauma. Wait, 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 wait. This is literally like the trauma. Plot. This is like trauma the plot. Trauma is its biggest superpower. <laughs> <laughs> this is the plot to Batman. This is like literally undermining Batman because he doesn't have powers. But you've seen mm. his feats and it's just like, no, he, you he, really he, make him hey, look listen, that listen, bad. Listen, like, listen, he has oh, no powers. Why would listen, you go for him first? Because there's a, a reason. He has yeah, a enough. kid. I think in one university he has a kid with Catwoman. And then he also has Damien. Yeah, Damien. So listen, his power is Riz, right? Oh wow! Well. But uh, uh, they should. I own the restaurant. So what games have you been? Playing? <laughs> uh, Matthew, gotta get that so what games have you been playing recently? I want you to take a guess. Just look at my hat very quickly. Pokemon. Really? Oh boy! Pokemon. I thought that. Oh boy! Dude, really? Po that, world. I can't even tell. Po oh, po world. World. I'm <laughs> Power world is. I want to get it. It seems fun. I never played it, but like I I'm don't. not gonna lie, I just I heard all I heard was Pokemon with guns, and I was like, what? Oh yeah, no, <laughs> no, no it's I, You know what? I I'm not a fan of Pokemon at all. But that sounds interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Yeah, like Pikachu with a Glock 17. Come on. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aaron, Aaron is upset. My friend Aaron is obsessed with it. He plays oh. it all the time. Okay. I will say though, yeah. yesterday you and I played Lethal Company. Oh, actually, that's oh, where yeah. I want to kind of leap this to because we see a lot of like triple A studios. Triple, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they're like they're releasing, they're pumping out these games, and it's like then, yeah. then you just have this one little these indie developer games, that yeah. sold out. That sold out developers. Call of Duty, by the way. That yeah. sold out Call of Duty, Lethal Company, fun game, best game Such ever, made. an amazing game. Shout out so, the Bracken. I will say this. <laughs> <laughs> the Bracken. Okay, so the bracket. Was, let me just tell you story time. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing with the guy who plays Smash Bros. You know, I was playing with him. Uh -huh. And I believe one of our other friends and we were playing modded and I specifically had this mod called control company oh, And now okay. with with most mods uh -huh. everyone has to have them installed with control company only I need to have it installed <laughs> Which allowed me to play as a monsters and I played as a nutcracker and then right. this was trying to run away and just <laughs> And he died they it was go. very fun. That, that got annoyed with me, but that, it was that, fun. Was, that was really annoying over there. I won't lie. <laughs> it was it was but it was fun. Yeah, that game turns Horrifying real, real quick. Oh, the bracket so my favorite innocent, character. And then, you know, oh, all the, of a sudden, the bugs. It's you. The loot bugs. Oh, the, the loot bugs are in the game. I will yeah. say this. They're like I, the mafia. I think with the way that the internet is set up, specifically with YouTubes, that's the uh, YouTubes. God, yeah. YouTube. <laughs> Show person. your age, why don't you? Jesus. Um, with, specifically, Brian's actually with, like 30 years old. Yeah, honestly. Uh, specifically with YouTube. <clears throat> he's never graduated. Like, that's what allows. Okay. <laughs> he's our super, super. <laughs> like, 37, May 6th. He's our ultra senior. <laughs> there we go. That's what allows us. That's what allows a lot of these games to like to blow up is because that one YouTuber posts a video with them going, 
that, that, that's and the then, wall jack. Like, it's also yeah. it's also for any like for any with like the red circle. Semi, yeah, with the red circle the red and then circle. pointing it at, also, like, an explosion in the yeah. background. It also <laughs> helps that um, yeah. that <laughs> most games live now. Like I don't know. It also helps that most games are like most. Most new better games, games yeah, yeah. are like you know expensive. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. They offer. They they barely listen to the actual fans that they're yeah, supposed to be saying, selling yeah. game to. Yeah. When it but when it comes to like Lethal Company and smaller indie games, it's like, hey, this is what we want. This is what we're gonna get. I get right. Yeah, the, yeah. These indie developers, they really rely on the community. Well, mostly because yeah. of the fact that if they don't rely yeah. on the community, they don't get any kind of money. They're out like, of a job. The, yeah, technically. Yeah, that's that's the difference with indie companies and and like big AAA. Uh, budget companies is the fact that with with indie companies, if you don't listen to your fan base, you're gonna go under. There goes your money. Like like, like that's literally where your money's at. Like I know that looking at people buying a game and seeing them as like big wads of cash is like kind of messed up. But at the end of the day, for those, for those smaller money. companies, you need the money. You, need the yeah. money. you know. Mm -hmm. But for big budget com companies like okay, like Sony but and then, Microsoft, yeah, they right? do it. They already make like yeah millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. Okay, so one bad game doesn't perform well. Like for starters, with with Suicide Squad. That game's a live service, right? Oh, and so, then the Deadshot so Recon. One, Don't forget about the Deadshot Recon. We're going to completely ignore that. Um, <laughs> that game's a live service, me, me, meaning that there are specific networks for that game. So if those networks go down, then the game goes down with it. Supposedly, they're going to uh, like have 12 seasons. I guarantee you it's not even going to make it past five. They're going to pull that game, and you will never be able to play it ever again. Unless they pull like a No Man's yeah. Sky and somehow like fix everything, but even then, it's like, it's like, hard. The, the, only thing I, the only thing I think of with a big budget studio listening to the crowd feedback off the top of my head was cyberpunk 2077 oh because that game when it came out was at lunch was garbage. the most it was so bad like, in existence like the story itself was fine and the gameplay wasn't bad but it, it was impossible for you to even experience it yeah on a regular xbox one or ps4 <laughs> because it was just so buggy out Blue the screen. wazoo <laughs> like, it was crazy so yeah. that game died like i'll, I will I'll say that no, yeah. and then because of the edge runners tv show on netflix go watch it by the way um because of Shouting that out. because of that tv show Right, and everyone loved it. CD Projekt Red was like, "Oh, you guys want to play the game again? I, I mean, I, I guess we'll update it." They updated it, gave it a bunch of edge runner perks and whatnot, fixed the buggy issues. Now, like, I I played it, I played it when it launched, and then after the edge runners patch, and like the difference is like it's like night and day. I remember like when I when I bought the game at launch, I played it for like four hours, and I was like, "This is a waste of my money." Great job, like, <laughs> way to go. Yep. And I remember like, when I heard, oh, the Edge Runners patch or whatever, okay, went to go watch the show, cried my eyes out, came back, still crying, and I was like, oh, they patched the game, okay, cool. And like, I sunk at least a good, like, 100 hours into that game afterwards. Wow. I played it Speaking. non-stop during the summer. It was so good. Speaking of sinking hours into a game, Baldur's Gate 3. I don't play Baldur's Gate. I don't Listen, play Baldur's Gate. I'm not, big with, I'm not really it. big with like, uh, what's the word? Like open world games. Yeah. That's not really yeah, my huge deal. Story okay, so with like, me. Even though 2077 um, is like the, the one exception. It, yeah. 27 is RPG. Is, yeah. It's RPG essentially D&D &D on computer for when you have no friends. <laughs> that no, that that is essentially what it is. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Twitch. You have no so friends. If you're and you lonely play in life. Come yeah, on, man. You, you, you have me. Like, come on. You have me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're good friends. friends. But I'm saying, when you have no one to play D and D with, you want to play D and D. Baldur's Gate three. I have sunk like two weeks into that game. Ooh. No, I'm not lie. I see you. I see you constantly on Discord. I, like, I'll be doing homework. It's like oh, three yeah, in the morning. Added, huh? I'll see. I'll, I'll be on Discord and I'm looking at Discord and I'm like. Three in the morning. He's still on Baldur's Gate three. <laughs> like there have been times I want to text you, like, dude, <laughs> go, to bed. Bed. go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Listen, oh because God. because yeah. you can do anything. Like, you don't have enough money for something, right? Yeah. You go to a vendor. They have like a hundred k. Rob, right? Rob them. <laughs> Rob them. Not even. You can you can scum save one. You can kill them, take their stuff, or you can sell them a backpack. Mm -hmm. Open the backpack in their inventory. Yeah. Get everything you want, put it in the backpack, and then pickpocket the backpack from them. What? Oh, and they don't even like, know they got robbed. That's like 900 IQ right there. It is, <laughs> Skyrim. It is, it's a fun game. Fire Skyrim. You found the infinite money glitch right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, and, then, and then you just and then you just long rest and do guys, it all again. You guys, can we do this in real life? Fans? And all right. I don't know. It's like, so real can quick, you help me find this Whoa. this criminal? He's on the run, and then he's like right next. To yeah. <laughs> right. So so right before we end this podcast, real quick, uh, we can bring up like favorite video games. Okay. Uh -huh. So for me, okay, 
I love NBA 2K. Yes, I'm a sports head. Whatever. Head leave me alone. Okay. Obviously, Cyberpunk is pretty hyped up there. But for me, my biggest, like, crutch with video games, my biggest, like, love hate relationship, Sonic the Hedgehog. That guy mm-hmm. has been, that poor guy has been, like, doing his best to stay relevant. And it's just, like, the third movie's coming out soon. They got Jim Carrey back. Ah, I'm really happy okay. for that. I'm really happy for that. But besides that, like, like right now they're they're gonna release uh Sonic Generations like uh-huh. a, a re-release for the Switch right but they're gonna add like uh ep- levels that you can play a Shadow so I'm like oh that's cool that makes it way better what about Sonic my Frontiers what, what was that about I you know what I never ended the vibe I bought it so okay it's okay. like basically Sonic and open world <clears throat> Sonic 06 <clears throat> and so it's like <laughs> I, I played it and like it was fine but I think that there's a reason why we stayed to like the kind of 3D ish and kind of 2D ish world of Sonic where it's like because like it's for better Sonic, as a platform right? like for Sonic Unleashed Sonic Generation <laughs> Sonic Colors where like you're kind of like in these railways and then it transitions to a 2D section and then goes back to railways mm-hmm. which is like I think it's fine I think it's a good uh, I think it's a good medium honestly so Sonic for yeah. me is like my favorite Ian gotcha. what, what is your favorite well, game? Ian? my favorite game of all time no one knows this game it's uh, it's a game on the GameCube called Second Sight oh and I it, think I've heard of it but oh, you've never heard quick. it you've never it heard of it you've never okay Matt, well, it, 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 yeah it came out 2004 around there oh, yeah, uh, by this by this company called Free Radical and man the, the story of that game is just insane it's Second um, Sight Second Sight yeah awesome so Okay. It's 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 this guy named John Vatic and he has psychic abilities and he's he he's sent by this or he gets thrown in this military group to go to this place in Dubransk, uh Russia to to figure out what this guy named uh Kryenko has been studying because apparently his research is dangerous it's classified mm-hmm. and they basically find out that he's been uh he's been working with uh this evil American British kind of no, he's a British American. Oh, this, evil this British, British guy. Nah, British. Who's Something been, I don't say, know. Who's been you kidnapping? You said evil American. Yeah. The first thing I think was just CIA. Yeah, yeah. Evil, yeah. evil oh, American. Whoa. Tell me something. This I dude don't has know. been kidnapping children whoa. in this oh, Russian whoa. village. Whoa. I know, I know, I know. This is a 2004 game. Keep okay, mind. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Kidnapping past, Russian, Russian children from this Russian village in the middle of nowhere because they have psychic abilities and they're basically studying them and trying to trying to uh, take their DNA and create uh, soldiers, super soldiers. So Stranger Things. With psychic abilities. Yeah. Basically. Yes, but way before Stranger Things and way better. Ooh, Such an amazing game. Drama. The game is amazing. Uh, amazing game. Play that game. Also, number two game, best game of all time, Minecraft. Okay, oh, of course. Yeah, what about you? What about you, Matthew? Uh, I can't really decide though. I played uh, like I mean, personally. Yeah, you played a lot of Pokemon. I've seen you, if you on can your tell from like your... the eye bags. I play a lot of games. Oh yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Pete Davidson. Um, what's it called? But if I had to choose like a game I sunk the most hours into already, I guess um Valorant personally. Oh, oh yeah. no, fair, fair I never enough. played Valorant. I heard it's really good. I just I don't play a lot of those like online like PVP like kind of yeah, plays, yeah. Play, playing games. Yeah. Story games. I like games. I hate. That, that, I'll say that yeah. much. <laughs> Valorant is no, one of those real. games that makes you very upset. Valorant. <laughs> Valorant, Warzone, anything Battle Royale just yeah. brings out the worst in you. Call of, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty multiplayer back in the day. Then, oh, uh, dude, the OGs. I'm, oh, very nice, I'm very nice right now. See me on a mic on Valorant. End of story. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> those lobbies. All right, those Isaiah. Lobbies. Fuck your blinds. Isaiah. Hey, uh, for me, round honestly, to end this all, I would say Baldur's Gate. I, I know that I talked uh-huh. a lot about it. It's just the story is amazing. Mm-hmm. You get like Mind Flayer puts a tadpole in your brain. Yeah. And before you turn into a Mind Flayer, you got to figure out why you're not turning into Mind Flayer and you got to find a cure for it. I definitely know what's going and, on right now. Yes. And um, you can also find other Mind Flayer tadpoles, consume them, and then you can get a perk later on in the game where you get to use your powers in a battle. Yeah. And then you get this special tadpole that makes you half Mind Flayer, which means you get even more powers. But I'm not doing that because I'm on my good run. Okay. So thank you for coming, everyone. Uh, All right. <laughs> Stay tuned for it. Thank you for watching. Like reaching the end of your favorite game and then being yep. depressed. You, this is reached its end. Such a Absolutely. bittersweet ending. A bittersweet ending. But yeah. just like most guys. games, the podcast is replayability. Yeah, uh, yeah it is. Try DLC maybe there will even be a trashy sequel. Do we DLC do coming soon. DLC coming soon for $30. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.